We have to add much. All we have to do is kind of just concatenate and then start selecting cells. So we'll start here, uh, here, 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 here. we go. What's going on, Excel Fanatics? Vertex is here. I'm going to show you today how you can create UTM parameters and attach them to your URL. Uh, the whole point of this video will be to show you how to do it via Excel, but I do want to show you this other option that Google actually provides. So I'll provide a link to this page, but essentially all you would have to do if, is just type in your website and then you could name the parameters down here and it will spit out the URL that can be usable for whether it's your social media, if you want to use it for paid or any, any traffic driving mediums, you, you can use it from here. But I'm going to show you how to do it through Excel, which might be a little bit easier uh, and it might be more efficient for you in the future. If you are already familiar with UTM's parameters, you can go ahead and actually skip ahead into the video. Uh, so but this next part, I'll just kind of walk through to help kind of familiarize you if you're not sure of what these are and why you should use them. So the reason that you would have this set up is that if you wanted to try to get as specific as possible, like whether you had a newsletter, uh, I believe I mentioned social media paid search. If you want to know where they came from, this is how Google Analytics will capture that information based on that user's visit to your site. And actually, if you go ahead and you scroll down, this shows you some more information about the parameters. We'll actually go through the these in Excel, like how these have to be formatted. Uh, so, But this is just here for your reference as well. So let's go ahead and let's run through an example. Uh, so the website URL, since we're actually, my plan is to go through the demo account of Google Analytics. So what we'll do is use one of their URLs. So shop Google Merchandise to store .com. The campaign source, we're just going to say it's Vertex's. Campaign medium, we're just going to call it YouTube. And this is, again, see, I can just write whatever I want. It doesn't have to be these things. This is just how we're going to recognize it once it's collected into Google Analytics. I can write CPC. I can write organic. Campaign name, we're just going to call it YouTube channel. Notice how I'm keeping these things lowercase and, and trying to avoid using spaces as that's best practice. The term just being URL builder doesn't have to even be that because I'm just doing making it about a video. And the content is, I'm just calling it the best video ever. So notice how it generated down here, right? So you see UTM source is the Verdexes. The medium, UTM underscore medium organic UTM campaign. You see how it's copying this now? So, so if I go ahead and I copy this, we can paste it into the campaign. I'm sorry, we can paste this into the URL. I entered the URL. Notice how when I landed, it all stayed. So let's see if we can find that spit out through the demo account in Google Analytics. If you haven't used Google Analytics before, there's actually a demo account that you see right here. I'll provide a link for that in the description below. But once you get to this page, actually where you want to go, there's a bunch of explanations here, but if you scroll down to what you actually do is you go ahead and you just click the access demo account right here and then it'll open it up for you. Okay, so we're in the actual account, the demo account now, right? So up here is where your accounts are, and you see right here it says UA. So that's Universal Analytics, also known as Google Analytics 3. Uh, I'm actually going to jump into Google Analytics 4, but what I do want to kind of show you right here on the left-hand side, if you're not already familiar, you go to Acquisition, you can look at All Traffic, and you see where it says Source Medium. So through here is how you see like when a user clicks through to your site, you can see where they came from and what medium. You see both here at the same time. Quickly note at the top, you see there's actually UTM parameters that they put on that link because they want to know how I got here, right? So this is how they're organizing it on their end. So they know that I came in through the demo account. And it's all the same name, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But the thing is, the reason that there's three is that it, it needs, that's the minimum amount that you need to put on a UTM parameter. All right, let's go ahead and let's go check out the Google Analytics 4 account. So if we click up at the top, we can go ahead and you see right here, GA4. And we just click that. 
and this is the newer version so the format's going to change a little bit but essentially where you would find that here you go to acquisition and you can go between user and traffic acquisition you can check out traffic acquisition here And you see here, it's a, very, it's a similar setup to what we saw in uh, GA3. All right, back at the top, still on the source medium tab here. I want to change the date range to today, and let's see if something will pop up. And we didn't get anything quite with the name here, but this might be a limitation of the demo account, that it might not show that kind of information or it might be filtering something out. Um, but essentially what would have happened here when we had our source being vertexes and the medium being uh, organic, that would have popped up here. You would have seen one user, one session. That is the ideal situation of how the UTM parameter is supposed to work. What we can do now, we can go ahead and I'll show you how to generate the URL builder in Excel. All right, let's get started on our UTM builder. Uh, so essentially what this is going to be is a concatenate template. And I already made the headers here. So this right here, the final URL will, will be the final output that you would copy and then you would implement in your campaign. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll input our URLs here. You'll notice some spaces that I'll get to, but I'm going to be using UTM source, medium, and campaign. You can also add in content and term if you want, but just for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna stick with these three. So our URL input is going to be the same input that we tested uh, when we were going through the Google Analytics demo account. So I'm just copying that, I had that on hand. Paste that here. And this space is supposed to represent the question mark because that needs to help kick in the tracking. Uh, so that is going to come actually right after the URL, but you'll see why I have it all kind of spaced out. UTM source equals, I'm just going to bring that down. The source name, we'll just call that vertexes. Here is another space we're going to be putting the end symbol. UTM medium, which is right YouTube. Put another one here. UTM campaign and then YouTube channel. Now, just a reminder too, best practice is to keep everything lowercase and no spaces. Uh, it's better to use maybe a dash or the underscore if you are going to try to do some kind of separating of the naming. So like here, I could have actually done underscore channel if I'd like. So now we're gonna do the concatenate formula. And we spelt it out pretty well here, so we don't really have to add much. All we have to do is kind of just concatenate and then start selecting cells. So we'll start here, comma, here, 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 yay. Okay, so that's done. So if we go ahead and we copy it, paste as a quick test, and voila, it landed, the page loaded fine, and we still, we landed on the page with the UTM tracking, and the page loaded fine. So that's a quick way to test to make sure that it's working. And that's really it. Uh, so it's nice once you have one line set up, all you would have to do is just drag down you know, highlight this, control D, this will all update. And if you make one tweak to another one of your inputs here, right? So say this, we want to change this to Facebook. We did like paid social. And we can keep the campaign name the same. And then notice that this will update accordingly. So the reason why you might want a template like this, again, using that uh, already made Google Analytics template that they provide, it's usually more of a one-off but if, at least when you have it in a template like this, you can go back and can quickly reference the past uh, mediums that you've been doing. Because the whole point of this is to say, keep your data organized, right? So I can easily just go back and copy, you know, what did we do for paid social, right? Did we write it like paid social? Because you want to keep that consistent. Uh, so that might be another reason why you would want to do that. So, uh, hopefully this was helpful to you. Uh, and thank you so much for watching.